Hi, my name is Dr. Anissa Ramirez. Welcome to my lab at Yale University. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about some of the science in the space shuttle. When you rub your hands together, friction causes your palms to heat up. When the space shuttle re-enters our atmosphere, friction causes the bottom of the space shuttle to heat up too. During re-entry, the space shuttle experiences temperatures on the order of 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about 1650 degrees Celsius. These temperatures are hot enough to liquefy a metal. How is it able to sustain these high temperatures? What prevents it from heating up? The answer is as simple as sand. A special type of sand called silica, which is just sand that's processed, is created in the form of a tile and it's put at the bottom of the space shuttle. And it prevents the space shuttle from heating up. It helps it survive these very high temperatures. There's over 27,000 of these tiles at the bottom of the space shuttle. Not only can they withstand high temperatures, they also prevent heat from spreading. They don't conduct heat. They have a low thermal conductivity. So that means that a hot spot is going to stay in place. Think of it this way. If I had a metal spoon and were to put it into very, very hot tea, eventually that spoon is going to heat up. And it may be uncomfortable for me to touch it. Metals conduct or spread heat. However, ceramics, like the tile in the space shuttle, don't conduct heat, and so that's why it's able to stay cool. Let's look at the space shuttle tile in action. Here's a space shuttle tile, and here's a blowtorch. I'm going to heat up the space shuttle tile, and you're going to see that it gets red hot. Watch this. You can see that red spot. That's a really hot spot on the space shuttle tile. If you don't believe it's hot, watch this. Wow, that tile is hot, because when the water hit the surface, it sizzled. But that's not the end of the story. Watch this. I can also pick it up. Because it doesn't spread heat, the center is still hot, but it's still cool for me to touch. Trust me, I'm glad about this, or else my fingers would be hurting right now. So as you can see, the space shuttle tile is one of the many marvels that has made the space shuttle program successful for the last 30 years. I'm Anissa Ramirez. Thanks for joining me in my lab at Yale University, and I hope that you'll join us again for another material marvel.